Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, we're going to be touring this Richfield home. This is a three bedroom, two bath with a garage. As you can see, I'll zoom in. This home does have a chassis. It is a manufactured home, you guys, but it's been refigured and they added a garage. So this gives you an idea of what you can do for your own home. This home is absolutely beautiful. Well, let's take a look at this home from the back. All right, so this is what the home looks like from the back. That's your exterior right there. They've added here, so this gives you an idea of what you can do for your own porch unless you could make it bigger or you could keep it the standard size but this is a nice porch y'all know i love a rocker i see two out here on a little table really nice so let's go in and take a look all right so this is the view that you see when you walk in the house this home does not come with the mister that's sitting at the island, it don't come with him. That's extra. <laughs> Y'all are sitting that one back. Okay, so this is your entryway. Really lovely entryway. I like that they have a table and picture here to give you an idea of what you can do, but you could also put a bench on that wall there, or you can put a table on that side as you have an outlet. But really, really lovely entryway. Now from the entry, if you look to the left, you have seating area here or dining area here. Now this dining room table is not large at all. It's a standard round table. So it gives you an idea of how bigger you could go in this area. The dining room table is front in front of these two large windows, which is really nice. And it's right next to the kitchen. So if you're entertaining, you have the ability to talk to your guests while you entertain. So really lovely. Now you spin around from the dining room. You also have this table here that you can put a buffet. I like that they put this wine cabinet here. Great for entertaining. So you can put your drink area here, have your drinks on display up here or a bar. Really nice, really nice area. So let's go back to the front door and I'll let you take, a, take this area in. Again, this is your uh, drink area and you have your dining room table here. Really lovely. So we're gonna take a look at the living room next. Really nice size living room. You have a back door there that could lead out to a deck. But this furniture, this is large furniture. So to give you an idea of really how you could decorate this space and how much of an area you have to work with really nice really nice so this is your living room area again this is the door that would lead out to your back door or your deck lots of natural lighting in here really lovely and it overlooks the dining room and the kitchen area so let's take a look at the kitchen you guys love the small island here it has Kind of a wood block look you have two large stools there so you have a nice area for entertaining this island has two cabinets and two drawers which is really lovely you have stainless steel appliances in here and look at all the counter space love the dark gray veining in these countertops and you have lots of outlet so really lovely this home also comes with the built-in microwave which is really nice and you have lots of cabinet space and even though these cabinets are tall the cabinets still left room for decor or storage items up above very nice really lovely lots of can lighting in this house as well 
so it'll be nice and bright in here and you also have in spite of the can lighting that is in the living room area you also have a ceiling fan so really lovely really nice trying to let you see all of the can lighting just in this area so really pretty now i'm going to spin around again from the front door and let you see what you see when you enter the room really nice and then through the living room you have your additional bedroom so let's go check them out so we're going to go down and start with this room on the left nice and bright in here this is an additional bedroom really lovely love the gray carpet nice and thick you've got a deep closet over here which is always a plus really nice so this is additional bedroom number one all right and then across from additional bedroom number one you have another large bedroom which will be additional bedroom number two really nice same deep closet lots of space for your guests or your children or your in-laws really nice all right bedroom number two now next to bedroom number two is the bathroom there's not lighting in here so it's going to be a little dark i apologize you got a nice rectangular sink in here you've got uh the round shower curtains which are lovely love it love it love it that is your additional bathroom you've got a storage closet right here you can put all your sheets and towels and comforters and extra things for guests extra pillows and all of those items in this closet really nice storage space and this is uh right here at the kitchen so i'm gonna stand here again this is right here at the kitchen so down this hallway your additional bedrooms are right there cat a corner each other you can even put a little bench at the end there and then right here is your guest bath and also your bathroom for your additional bedrooms and your storage closet. So really nice. Now, on the opposite side of the house, through the living room is the master. You've got your AC unit there. And you've got a coat closet here. Really nice. So your guests have a place to hang their coat. And then across from here, you have your laundry room. So your washer and dryer go there. You've got a back door here. You've got cabinets uh, for additional storage in this room. Nice tall ceiling. I'm sorry, that is the door that goes to the garage. That's right, this home has a garage, you guys. So it's dark in here and you can't really see but this is what the garage looks like. Really nice. Love how they have this concrete pad here. Just give you a good idea of what that garage would look like. You've got steps that walk down into the garage. Lovely. Love the vaulted ceiling in here. Really nice. You got, uh, this is a two car garage, you guys. So really nice lovely so that's off the laundry room and then the cabinets have three shelves so really pretty really nice now to at the end of the hall is your master this is what the master closet the master bedroom looks like lots of space in this master bedroom i love it love it love it i love that the closet is separate 
from the bathroom. You've got your closet over here. So all of this space is your master closet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I could probably share in this one. This is really nice. All right, nice size master closet. And then across the bedroom is the bathroom. So when you enter the bathroom, you're looking at the double sinks. Really nice. Love the lighting up there. And then you've also got a tub shower combo in here and a transom window up top. So really nice. Lovely. Just a standard bathroom. This is one of the first times that I've seen a house like this with such a standard bathroom. But really, I feel like, y'all know I have a big bathroom, but I feel like this is the size bathroom that my house needs and I love it. I don't have additional space for all kind of junk. If I had this bathroom, I'd just come in here and do what I needed to do. Really nice, love it. Again, this is a rich field home, you guys. You've probably seen other rich field homes on this channel. But this is the Richfield with the garage. It's a three bedroom, two bath with garage. Out the door, that means setup, delivery, heating and air, steps, decks, etc. This home is $224,900 and it's 1,546 square feet. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.